95% of people in the world are to some extent susceptible to hypnosis, an altered state of consciousness in which we manifest heightened suggestibility. Rajan is a master hypnotist. He travels the country with his evil team, Hypno Girl, Hypno Kid, and me, Bindi. By night, we lure ordinary people into our lair. People found to be prone are put into a deep hypnotic trance. Rajan puts them through a series of tests designed to establish the limits of their imagination. Multiple suggestions are planted into his subjects' minds that last long after their night at the circus. Everyone you see tonight has undergone a hypnotic induction by Rajan and his evil hypnotists. Welcome. Let me fondle your mind. Coming up, revenge, fear, Fuck off. Help. and pure evil. This is insane. So what's your name? My name is Ian Smith and I come from Birmingham. What turns you on sexually, Ian Smith? I'm really turned on by lower backs on women and get my ear nibbled, my neck kissed, stuff like that. Not disappointingly boring. Anything else? I don't know, little like, bites all over. Just little things, really. Nothing major. Ian, that makes you the perfect candidate to become pervert man. Rajan spent the morning with Ian, putting him into deep hypnosis. Now, whenever he hears me make this noise, he'll be overcome with sexual feelings towards the first inanimate object he sees. Let's see what happens to our specimen when we send him back into the public realm. Stand right there, thank you. Just face that way. As long as you do exactly as I say, you'll be completely safe. I'm going to turn you impervious to fire. Take your shirt off on me. Look at me. Look at those eyes. Turn sideways there. I've got some sort of singeing on my back and on my arms as well. I could, I could feel that afterwards. But like I say, while, you know, during the experience, all I got was a warm feeling over my arms and back. I couldn't feel any pain at all. Composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart practiced self-hypnosis. It's said that he wrote the opera Cose Fan Tutte while hypnotized. Meanwhile, what object would our pervert man make sweet music with next? So beautiful. Right. Oh. Oh. Do you want more? Oh, you want more? Oh. What do you want? Oh, how about this? Huh? How about that? Do you like that, yeah? 
Yeah? Do you like that? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, you like that, don't you? My name's Mel, I'm a nanny, and I'm from East London. Would love to have my own chat show. Haven't really met anybody really famous. I'm very outgoing, confident. I must say, my nerves do sometimes get a hold of me. Mel's one of those TV wannabes. And Rajan has brought her into our TV studio, put her into a deep trance, and told her she's Britain's sizzling hot new chat show host. Next door is big brother runner-up Craig Coates. He's what they call a celebrity. Craig thinks he's been invited for an interview with an exciting new chat show host trying to break through. Craig has no idea Mel is hypnotized. So with Mel deep in his hypnotic clutches, Rajan heads off to the studio. Then, Rajan and I position ourselves in the TV gallery, where he can deliver hypnotic commands directly into Mel's earpiece. And juggle. Mel's about to find that her chance at the big time comes at a cost. And Craig's about to have the strangest interview of his life. It's tonight with Mel from East London and her guest, Big Brothers, Craig Coates. Hi, hello. Craig, you came to fame inside Big Brother House. Where do you see yourself going from here? Oh, my God, that's a really hard question. There's so much different avenues I can pursue at the moment. I mean, um, hopefully I'm working on a TV reality show at the moment. For and the guest answers, you'll take in a deep breath and hold it, and hold it as long as they keep answering. Coming up, like, asking my autograph and picture and stuff. It's really mad. Do you consider yourself to be famous? Um, I, don't, I don't really know. I mean, I don't really know. I mean, what would you sort of class fame as? Do you know what I mean? You okay? It was rumoured that, rumored that you broke down in tears. <laughs> Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Like no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Whenever your guest answers, you'll become incredibly drowsy. Really sleepy. Really drowsy. Uh, what would you do to my hair if you had a chance? Oh, I don't know. Oh my god. I honestly don't know actually. Oh my god. This is insane. Oh my god, I'm obviously boring the poor girl. I think she needs a coffee. As soon as your guest starts to speak, you'll start muttering monkey nuts. Monkey nuts. Monkey nuts. Um monkey nuts. Monkey nuts. I think this girl needs some I think this girl needs some nuts. Um monkey nuts. Probably Van Diesel, because I just, monkey I don't nuts, know. Monkey nuts. It's probably just... Monkey nuts. Monkey nuts. Monkey nuts. If you could do one thing to benefit mankind, what would it be? Um, monkey nuts. Monkey nuts. To benefit monkey mankind. Nuts, monkey nuts. To make monkey sure that, nuts. To make, monkey nuts. To make sure there was, one of, to make sure there was one of me nuts, on every TV nuts, show in the world. Monkey nuts. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Craig Coates. Thanks. It's been a pleasure. And you. And Soja. Oh, oh my god. That was like the most insane thing I've ever done in my life. Juggle. Come on. Feeling it afterwards, it's kind of surreal. It's like a magnet. It's kind of like it pulls you towards, you know, what, it, what he's getting you to say. It's amazing. I don't know what she's like when she's normal, but if she was apparently hypnotized, she's off her head. Hey, hey, hey. This man calls himself Michael. What kind of man do you think you are, Michael? Team player, definitely a team player. Unselfish, considerate, humorous, a bit of a coward. Well, we're about to find out exactly what kind of man is he. Hypnogirl has lured Michael to meet her in a bar. 
Inside, she places him in a deep, hypnotic trance and tells him that when he hears me make this jingly noise, he'll become completely invisible to everyone around him. What will this Michael character do with his see-through body? Will he, one, steal something and run away, two, run to the ladies' toilets, three, touch the public inappropriately? Find out after the break. Welcome back to our show. Before the break, we asked you how this person named Michael would react when he thought he was completely invisible to the other humans. Will he, one, steal something and run away, two, run to the ladies' toilet, or three, touch the public inappropriately? Everyone in the pub knows that Mike is hypnotized, but have no idea what's going to happen next. So I'm going to wake him up and we'll find out what his brains are made of. If you pick three, touch the public inappropriately, you were right. You may feel happy now. Talking of inappropriate touching, here's Ian, our pervert man. He's out looking for a new car. The unsuspecting salesman has no idea our hidden cameras are watching. The Porsche up front. The Porsche, right, okay. Yeah. It's just full leather interior. Oh, it's just. Auto Tiptronic as well. Yeah, Auto Tiptronic as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I do like the Tiptronic box. It's shocking. Can I have a seat? Are you sure? Just one minute. Hello? Ooh. I like that. Can I do that again? <laughs> oh, wow. How oh. many days have you said you've seen? Uh, seven, eight, seven. maybe. Yeah. Not as beautiful as this. Oh. Oh, well, oh. You sure you've seen seven? Oh, yeah. Eight? Oh, look, mate. Oh. You can't do that. You've got to stop. You've got to stop. Seriously. <laughs> you got... No, it... Ooh. You're going to have to buy this car. All right, that's it. That's it. Fucking hell. What am I supposed to fucking do? What can I do? Can you give us a hand? Come on. Help! Help! After seeing what I've seen today, if it is hypnosis, then <laughs> I don't want anything to do with it. I can't remember anything really from this afternoon, and I'm just really curious to see how it all comes out on screen. screen. Warning, hypnotized subjects have an incredible internal clock. This man was hypnotized earlier and will be activated in under 20 seconds. But what has he been programmed to do? Let's see. This female calls herself Fiona, and she likes nothing more than a good night out on the town with her friends. But her boyfriend, Kevin, has a problem with that. My name's Kevin. I've been going out with Fiona for about eight years, but I'd just like you to get a wee bit of revenge on her, because she tends to flirt with the guys when we're out a wee bit. So, if you can help me out, please. Thank you. Well, Kevin, it sounds like it's time for some hypno payback. Rajan and Hypno Girl have arranged to meet Fiona at this bar. She's come along with her friend Emma and is enjoying a quiet drink, 
but all that is about to change. Have you been any gigs lately or anything? Sorry? Have you been any gigs lately? Phase one, repulsion. To combat Fiona's flirtatious nature, Rajan has told her whenever our planted handsome barman comes over, rather than fluttering her eyelashes, she'll get the urge to pull the face of a dreaded sea monster. Kevin and her mutual friend Alec are watching the action from a back room. Fiona's friend Emma knows she's hypnotized but has no idea what's about to unfold. Did I throw it today? Mm, I think it's a dry year. So I'm going to look for a new job anyway. I know it's not, it's only intercentral, but I want something you know, really close to. So that's like me, I mean, realistically, if I took the car, it'd only be about 10, 15 minutes, but it's coming in through. <laughs> I shouldn't even be looking. Huh? So bad, I shouldn't even be looking. <laughs> 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 what are you doing? Are you alright? So, you been any gigs lately or anything? Sorry? You been any gigs lately? Sleep deeper and deeper right now. Phase two. Abstinence. Most flirtatious banter happens when people have a little too much gin. So now, Rajan tells her whenever the handsome barman places a drink in front of her, she will take a large sip but be unable to swallow. Then, trouble. <coughs> Five years ago, I was blonde, believe it or not. Before I met you, I was oh my God. Black and blonde. Hi, you see the Oh, it just was. <laughs> Phase three, Rajan combines the other two phases into one final lesson. But also, whenever our planted men talk to her, she will slap herself about the face and grab their backsides. <coughs> Oh, why not? You look keep up to them. Thank you. Hi, do you have the time? Uh-uh. <laughs> Check. Rajan ends Fiona's nightmare by bringing her out of trance. All that remains is to see if she's learned the error of her ways. And juggle. Why am I wet? <laughs> Sorry? Why am I wet? <laughs> I'm a drink. Do you not remember juggling all in yourself? No? Hey! <laughs> hey! Grabbing guys' asses. No, I never! <laughs> oh, I. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy. I don't think Fiona will be going out flirting any more than the pubs. Thank you very much. <laughs> Modern hypnosis began over 200 years ago with Franz Mesmer, who regularly hypnotized the French queen Marie Antoinette. Yep, my name is Homian Dashiri, and I come from Ramsgate in Kent. What is it you do, Homian? My job is teaching assistant at a secondary school, 
Is there anything that scares you, boy? Apart from this, no. <laughs> um, nothing much in life that scares me at all. Oh, apart from heights. Only heights. We'll see about that. Close your eyes. When Rajan first met Homian, he discovered someone very susceptible to hypnotic suggestion. Rajan thought Homian could be a perfect subject for Hypnokid to practice on. Two weeks later, Homian was instructed to visit a park with no idea of the hypnotic delights awaiting. With a friend watching, Homian is strapped down and hypnotized to believe that whatever appears over the brow of the hill, no matter how silly, is incredibly scary. Is this? Look, Homian, it's the Marjorie Hawkins School of Irish Dancing. Somebody help! Help! <laughs> Irish wankers, piss off! Help! <laughs> help! <sighs> help! Fuck off! Bastards! The Irish bastards, please go away! <laughs> I'm sorry! All my fears had just come in one, and my heart was racing. Um, my backside, my arsehole was pulsating, and I was like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Very amusing, but uh, a bit a bit strange, I have to say. Yeah, I definitely believe in it now. Before today, I, I didn't really think of um, hypnotism that seriously. I, I was a bit sceptical whether it would actually work. But um, now I've been hypnotised. It does work. It does work. It does work. It does work.